I brought this house from a former workmate. No wonder why he sold it for a very cheap price. There are all these strange things behind. We are having sleepless nights here. The house left me with nothing in pocket. I used all my pension to buy it. If it was because I was not in good books with my family, it was better going back home and build a peaceful house than left this one with no honor. I am regretting offending my relatives. I came to South Africa in 1996. Back home, I raped my own sister. Everyone was against me. I thought maybe a case might be opened. Fled out of the country to Botswana. I never contacted any of my relatives from then. I don't even know if my parents are still alive or not. In Botswana, I stayed there for three years. Later, I started living with this other lady. She was my first wife. We have two kids together. I don't know if they are still alive or not because I fled out of Botswana after impregnating my wife's young sister who was still a minor. From Botswana, I came to South Africa. Here in South Africa, I met this lady I'm staying with. We have four children together. She is originally from Malawi and I'm from Zimbabwe. We met at work. We have been working at a same supermarket till retirement age. The supermarket's owner is a very caring and loving boss. He was always there for us because he knew we met in his shop. He funded our wedding. All those years, we have been staying at one of his houses. We are of same age with my wife. The employer noticed we were about to retire and started giving us half of our salary so that he was to give us a lot of money at once. The boss uh, really wished we could have our own shelter after retirement. He talked about it several times. After 10 years being given half salaries, we finally retired. The retirement was very good. I brought a car and a house. A workmate retired the same month with us. He was going back to his home country. To our surprise, the price was very small. He was selling the house for a very cheap price. We brought the house. Few months after buying the assets, my oldest son stole the car when he was home alone. He failed to control it and fell in the bridge. The car was left beyond repair and the boy is now disabled. Now we are in trouble with the new house. There are very long and thin people who came at night. The people sings over the nights. Sometimes the things used all the groceries in house. Other times we wake up at the river. I consult a sangoma. He said the house is on top of a cemetery of the late 80s. That's my story. I don't have where to go. I believe my brother sold my share home because of my behavior. What's your advice to me? My brother, you have been impregnating people and flee, impregnating and flee, impregnating and flee. What kind of doing is that? Anyway, my brother, I'm not here to scold you. Thank you so much for sharing. We have learned. But my brother, number one, you have a child with your sister. You don't even care where is that child you don't know if your parents are still alive or not. You don't care. You have children in Botswana. You don't know if they are still alive or not. You don't care. So, how could you ex expect a, a smooth sailing type of living whilst some people are crying about you? You need to find your children, all your children. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. Your children and their mothers, ask for forgiveness. Go back to your relatives and ask for forgiveness. Then start dealing with that issue of that house. Okay, my brother. Guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this one. Let's move into our next confession. 
I solution uncle and family whenever I am in a relationship this guy would pop up in my life the moment the two of us start to chat I will immediately stop my relationship to be with this guy whenever he finds out I don't have any contact with the person I dated he will disappear again I left someone for this guy just to find out he have a girlfriend he tells me he wants to be with me it only takes one message from him i walk out from my relationship because the day is over the same cycle continues every time i wish i could understand why i do the same thing over and over thank you so much my sister for sharing guys what's your thoughts wanna hear your thoughts deep down the comment section let's move into our next confession yellow solution uncle and family please hide my identity when publishing don't know where to start this but since i got pregnant my boyfriend is drinking too much and i tried speaking to him several times but there is no change so his mother is coming tomorrow and i'm thinking of calling a little meeting and try to talk to him for the last time actually i want to give him an alternative to either it's us or our cow cause i really can't raise my child in, in an environment like that did i also mention that when he is drunk he doesn't sleep he will be doing up and downs in the house switching the lights on and off making noise with music wanting to go out uh in the name of checking if the gate is logged or not his behavior is just out of hands mostly of his age 38 he is that typical zulu man who doesn't wanna be corrected mostly by umfaz this means uh this man's alone he has spent almost 15 years with alcohol and friends the only thing that makes sense he has brought was two pains for the rooms he just spends money in js if there is no tomorrow and i had enough of his behavior shame i rather go and rent outside if there is no change i want peace in my life guys am i wrong if i leave that guy or should i tell the mother please advise me yo guys i am drained so my parents died when my twin sister and i were in grade 7 It was a car accident. My aunt took over my parents' house and cars. So this other lady from our area took us. She did treat us until my sister and I graduated from college. Now we are working good jobs. Now all of sudden family wants to be in our life. Fela they sold our parents' house and cars. Me and my sister managed to get a house via bank. Our lives are good now. Problem K okay, our aunts they always tell us they want help us if one of us get married now i don't care is it wrong to cut them out of my life thank you so much my sister for sharing such a touching story i'm sorry for what happened in your life guys let's move into our next confession i want to hear your thoughts deep down there what's your thoughts on this one Let's move into our next confession. Morning guys, I need your help. I want a marriage counselor. I'm going through so much and I need someone I can talk to. Maybe me and my husband can find a way back to each other cause I feel like giving up on this marriage. Wish I could write about it here, but there is a lot. I am no longer enjoy being a wife and I love him so much but he makes me feel like I worth nothing and I feel like he is taking advantage ya gore and not working and not contributing maybe or what ish guys there is a lot by the way we have four kids and the youngest is turning 3 years there is a reason the reason I am still holding on him the love i have for him please help cause i have this constant headache my neck is always stiff cast stress and my eyes get swollen most of the time because of stress 
I feel like I'm going mad and it doesn't take me serious when I talk about it. Please help me. I am in Polokwane. Yellow admin, notify me when posting. Don't forget to hide my identity when publishing. I am always in tears when I think of my past. I don't understand why mom did this to me. Mom was born in a family of three in Shiredzi. She was the only girl child of her parents. It is said that her parents, my grandparents, did not want and dear to have a friend or even to talk with the neighbors. They were so protective to their only daughter. Mom scooped nine A passes at ordinary level. This pleased her parents. She was their first and only child to pass at that academic level. Grandfather sold all his cattle for a year daughter to proceed with education. It is said that mom went to Shereza town for a advanced level education. She was going to rent at houses near the high school. There was no A level sciences facilities at a school near their homestead. Her parents have much trust in her. It is said that she was a cool girl. Upon arriving in the city, everything changed. That freedom of living alone, new friends, new environment, everything changed. That's also where she met my father. Mom ended up not going to school, having so many boyfriends. It is allegedly said that in her final year, she got impregnated. That was me in her womb. Went to two holidays and grandfathers. Grandparents did not notice. On the third term holiday, she didn't went home, lying to parents that she was attending school lessons. That's when she gave birth to me. She gave birth to me in the presence of her late friend. They threw me in a public. They threw me in a public bin at the shopping center. It is said that I was discovered by the city council workers when they were about to take garbage which was in the bin. I was into their garbage truck. They took me to the police. I was taken to a local children's home. I stayed at the home till I finished high school. At this home, there was this sister. The woman liked me. Some kids even hated me for that. She even cried when I was ill. We had a strong bond. I left the home, started my started my transport business after I won a lottery, became rich and later got married. Visited warm library with my kids to see my adopted mother and adopted mother looked exactly like my daughter's. One day she confessed that she was my biological mother. We did a DNA test. She is my biological mother. It's allegedly said that she voluntarily joined the warm care team a week after I was taken to the womb. She told me everything, confessed in front of her relatives. I said I forgave her, but deep down inside, I feel like I hate her. My wife and kids also pretend to be liking her. Please advise me. How could I change? My brother, I have republished the story. Uh, with this brother, we talked last night. You found me. Hey, brother. What's up? How are you? How is life? And I say, I'm okay. But he told me that he's still feeling the same. He's still feeling the same. So, guys, what's your advice? What's your advice? Deep down the comment section, I want to hear your thoughts. Yes, that was it for this afternoon. Thank you so much, guys. For showing that type of love. The channel is growing. Uh, it is growing. That's a solution anchor for you. Don't forget to follow us. Our WhatsApp group. We have a new WhatsApp channel. So don't forget to follow us. For more confessions. Some of the confessions are. Especially those small. Small questions. We'll be publishing them. At our WhatsApp channel only. So, don't forget to follow. Follow, 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 follow. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. Let's be tomorrow. Bye. Peace.